Hello, my name is Hannah Rorchard. I'm from Smith Cooper. I'm the implementation team leader for the South region. And today I'm going to walk through list views in Sage 200. So there are a number of list views within each of the modules. Um, I'm going to choose the Sales Ledger module as it's quite a common one that we can customize. So if you select Sales Ledger, you get a drop down list of options and select the customer list. Uh, the screen on the right hand side will update. So you can see there's a number of columns in the list view. You've got an option on the right hand side for scrollable view. If you tick that option, you can then scroll. If it's left unticked, you will have to use this option down here to scroll up and down. So if we start from the top, you've got here um, filters that you can apply to the list view. So if I click on filters, okay, create a new filter. You have to give it a name. So for example, you may want to filter on an analysis code or uh, let's have a look at the options you've got. Balances may be greater than zero for argument's sake. So let's use that one as an example as this is the customer list view. And then we select the join, so where the column, so we want where the column of balance is greater than zero. Okay, so if we save that and close, you've now got a filter in your list view. So if I click on the filter, that will then filter on balances, customer balances that are greater than zero. So now if I drop down into the actual list view itself, you can see that you can sort by any of the columns. So if you just click on the column heading like so, and you can sort either by code, obviously, or by balance or by credit limit. You can search. So anything within this list view, you can search using the search list. So if I'm searching for, say, either a customer name or a contact name, so you may have a direct contact that you're used to dealing with, maybe not remember the company name. So within the list view, you could search for, say, my contact is Brian. Enter. And then it was filter down on the contact name. So anything within this list view, you can filter on within the search criteria here. Uh, and then obviously to populate the, the, the screen back with all of the records, if you just untick like so. Now to customize your list view, you can right click anywhere within this list view and you get a number of options here to work with. So you've got actions. So there's various actions you can carry out from this list view. Uh, number of, there's a number of reports you can run from here. You've also got the columns. So if we continue with the theme of uh, filtering on the columns that are selected, so if we select the columns, you've got a list of options here to, to choose from. Okay, so everything with it will tick on is what's currently displayed. Um, so for argument's sake, you may want to filter on an accounts that are on hold. So if I select on hold we've got a customer account there that's on hold so again you could create a filter maybe for your customer accounts that are on hold so if we select another filter and create a new one that filter is set the column is called on hold so where the column on hold is equal to and the answer is true so we just want to filter on accounts that are on hold, okay? Now you've also got this tick option here, which makes the filters uh, public. So if we tick that, then anybody that's got the same role um, as the current user can edit the filter as well. So if we make that one applicable, save and close the screen. We've now got two filters here. So if I select the customer accounts on hold, it will filter down to show me just the customer accounts that are on hold. The list view is extremely customizable depending on your criteria and requirements. So again, to populate the whole list back again, we just click on the filter and put it back to as it was. So you can also export this data out. You can right click and export all this data to Excel for maybe marketing campaigns or, or forward it on to colleagues. So if I click on all to Excel, you've got all of that information there that can be quickly sent via an email. So the list views are um, available in the other modules. So we've just covered the sales ledger module, but they are also available in the purchase ledger, nominal cash book, stock, etc., etc. Um, so, I mean, the only major difference, if we click on purchase ledger, supplier list and right click, you'll see the options available there are the same. However, the tasks are obviously module specific. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to point out, so if we just go back to where we were originally, so the South Ledger customer list and right click again. You'll notice at the top there, there is an actions option. Now the actions that are available are various tasks that are also available on the icons at the top of the list view, as well as the drop down options. So for example, you've got here new and amend. So that's creating a new account or amending a new account. The majority of customers will use these icons. And that covers list views for today. Thank you very much for listening. That completes the video. If you found the video useful, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to the website. Thank you very much.